Today is a very exciting day for me because I am finally going to be tackling the last room in my apartment that has not yet been decorated. So this is easily the most neglected part of my entire apartment. This has basically become a glorified storage unit, except for the fact that it is right at the entrance of my apartment and facing half of my kitchen. So a very bad spot to be in this state, but that's all going to change today. And the first thing I'm gonna do is fix the walls. There's like little holes everywhere and it's just mismatched and it just doesn't look good. So clear everything out and get on with making this space functional, useful, and pretty. thing to do in a room makeover but it needs to get done because look at how much brighter it is so much better Now that that's good to go, I've brought these two cabinets back in. These are originally the IKEA Ivar cabinets. They're in a bad shape, okay? Previously, a few years ago, I painted them white and I added some gold legs onto them, but the wood has kind of like leaked through the white, if that makes sense. So you can like see where the knots were and it looks discolored and it doesn't look good at all. The first thing I'm going to do, I think, is actually do some cutouts here with my jigsaw. The only problem, they're full of stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, step one, let's empty these. Got a box for my stuff. cutouts for the doors. I'm going to mark off about two inches on each side of each door. cabinets are all good to go with the cutouts and now I want to paint it I'm thinking the white is just gonna act as a bit of a primer and then the paint is literally just one that I had on hand that I bought like two years ago I don't even know what color exactly this is espresso martini by bear there you go semi gloss haha -ha, haha -ha. this is the color so that's what I'm gonna do right now Close to curtain. 
I left these guys to dry overnight. They're looking so good. I love this paint color. Like kudos to previous me who picked this out and like for the fact that it matches exactly to what I wanted in my head is just so great. So the next thing we're gonna do is fill in these cutouts. Typically, I feel like I would fill it in with some sort of like cane or raffia, but I wanted to give you guys a more affordable option and I think burlap is gonna work just fine here. So I went to a fabric store and I picked out one that I thought matched the color of like cane. So this is what I got and I really do think that it will look enough like either like a woven raffia or like a cane. I hope I got enough of this because I got this without measuring anything. So that probably wasn't the smartest. But let's cut out some pieces. Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious seas My holy hope I look for the things I don't know asking myself why did I fill these back up with all my stuff before moving them into place the answer is I do not know <laughs> but I definitely made it a lot harder for myself to move that'll do so the next thing I want to do is actually add a floor length mirror mostly so that I can see what I look like from top to bottom before I leave because I always want to do that especially with my shoes but also so it reflects a little bit more of the light because this space is small and just kind of no real lights getting in there other than the one overhead light so I think I have something that would work and it is this guy right here. This is an Ikea floor length mirror. It's huge. I got it secondhand in my last apartment. Now the edges of it are this silverish type color. I don't really love it. I'm thinking maybe I should paint it black. And I did pick up a black paint that I think should work. I'm not sure how well it's gonna stick to metal, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to lay this on the ground somehow. It's heavy. I can do it. So it's dried. I'm gonna pull off the tape and see how good of a job my taping was. Fingers crossed. Now that is satisfying because there is not a speck of black on the mirror. Okay, so next up I want to add some sort of statement lighting up here and a couple months ago I picked up this guy off of Facebook marketplaces. Now this is actually a light that I saw on Etsy that's quite expensive because it like can change shape. You see that? So it can change shape to a bunch of different shapes and this is the one that 
I want it to be at. So I kind of like attached it in this shape with thread. Now I went ahead and uninstalled the existing Ikea light that I had. So here is what it looks like. It's glass, it's pretty inexpensive. It's pretty nice, but I just think, I mean, hello, there's no comparison here. So I figured if I just like leave the three screws in that held this up, I can shimmy this on and it will stay perfectly in place. So I'm going to put this up now. So now that I have the rug in here and I love the look of it so much and I have the cabinets, I feel like the next thing I wanna do is actually decorate on top of the cabinets and I have a few things in mind that I think would go perfectly. The first thing is actually this one painting that I made and it was a dupe of an item that was from Anthropology that I think cost like $800 or something crazy like that. Basically all I did was I grabbed a canvas and I just went ahead and traced out the design using a pencil. After that, I traced over the pencil design using puffy paint, which is meant for fabric, but it sticks perfectly to canvas as well. After that dried, I went ahead and mixed up the perfect neutral off-white color that I love, and I just painted over it to give it a nice, solid finish. And then the last thing I did to really make this piece pop was get a few pieces of thin hobby wood from Home Depot and hot glue it onto the edges of the canvas. And I just feel like that brought the whole thing together. It's also a really good hack in general for canvas painting that you wanna DIY yourself. Now, in addition to that art piece, I need a couple other pieces, you know, to make the whole thing pop and come together. The first thing is a really big statement candlestick holder, which I got from HomeSense and I just added a really nice neutral candle in there. And then on the other side, I'm adding a big speckled vase, which I think is so pretty. And I'm finishing that off with a couple pieces of dried pampas, which I just found in a field in the suburbs. Now next to that, I am also gonna put two other DIYs that are super simple. The first one is a DIY upcycled thrifted clock. I basically got this more classic clock from Value Village. Now to really modernize this clock, I took it apart and then I spray painted the outside of it. Then to add some texture to the front of the clock, I actually made a cardboard piece that would fit into that front section and I covered it with some raffia cloth. When I put that clock all together, I thought it looked so good and so modern and fit the vibe of my home office so well. Now the last piece I really want to add on here is actually a bud vase and a couple months ago I made this awesome super easy bud vase out of none other than napkin rings and this was actually super easy as well. And now that we have all of this side of the room decorated, we can move on to the other side. Now this is not the most beautiful computer chair, but it is very comfortable and I actually got it from Walmart, so it was affordable. So I still highly recommend it. <laughs> now to go on top of the desk area, I actually have this round wooden mirror, which I got ages ago, and it's just been sitting in my apartment and I think this is the perfect spot for it to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it. Catch. It's not catching. I got it to go. So I'm gonna be honest with you here, this room is actually a big struggle for me to decorate. I mocked up several different designs that I just wasn't in love with or that when I actually saw it in real life just didn't come together, didn't flow properly. When I came up with this end design, I feel like something just feels so right about it. And sometimes I'm very hard on myself throughout the process when I can't get things just right. But I try and just tell myself that 
it's all a learning process. And when I look at this home office, I honestly am hard on myself wishing that I could have done this from the beginning when I first moved in and gotten to enjoy it this whole time. But then I remind myself that was impossible. <laughs> so I'm just glad that I got the opportunity to decorate it in this way. And without further ado, here is the end result. enjoyed watching this video if you did it would mean so much to me if you go ahead and subscribe and also I do have an Instagram it's at DIY Delia with an underscore at the end that is all thank you once again and I'll see you next time